What's going on people? Welcome to GFX Capture. This is another video in the Envato Elements template series where I share with you how to edit and customize After Effects templates. For this video, I've picked up a game streaming promo opener template from Envato Elements, which we will edit and customize. In case you missed the other videos, please check out the Envato playlist in my channel or click on the link at the top to take you to the previous videos. Envato Elements has a lot of stock footage, images, templates, fonts, and much more. What's more exciting is that you get a royalty free license to use the content for commercial use as well. You can use the link in the description below if you want to save on your Envato subscription. So let's start launch After Effects. Go to file and open project. Now what you have is if you look here in the project window, we have the renderer, which is good. We have the assets, we have the edit and we have the other folder. Now it looks like to me just looking looking at this i think the the person who has actually created this template and the project has actually done a very good job because you can clearly see where the the final renderer is you can see where all the assets are located and also the edit folder as well so the edit folder to me is telling me that probably this is where all the editing that we're going to do is actually in here and if i look here yeah i'm not actually wrong um all the this the, the subcoms the media is actually in here so we're going to be actually using this folder to do the editing and customization here now as I always say, if you have seen my previous videos, I always create a new folder for myself where I bring and download and keep all my assets and media files like videos, audio and any pictures that I may want to use in this project. So first thing first, I'm going to create a new folder called media and I will straight away download and bring in all my media files that I want to use in this project. So first thing first. As you can see, you can edit your logo, you can add your audio if you want, and then you have the, the sub scenes or the sub compositions as well. One thing I have been asked many times is, as you can see, there are many sub compositions. What if I want to delete or I don't want any sub composition in my final project and I want to take any sub composition out of the project? What will happen? Because you don't want the gap between the two sub compositions. So in this video, I'm actually going to first of all, just show you that and how, and to see how it works. First of all, let's say I want to delete the intro logo sub compositions. Okay. So which means I will just, the, the, the project, the video will straight jump into scene one which is a sub composition starting from here like maybe one second or one and a half seconds okay so what i will do is i will simply click on this one and i will simply press delete okay now you see that logo comp is gone now i don't want the gap in here i don't want a black screen or a blank screen here what i want to do is to bring down or shift all the sub compositions to the left hand side so it starts from here rather than at one second or 1.05 seconds whatever it is for that what i will do is i'm going to select all of these sub compositions just by pressing shift and clicking each of these sub comps i am going to just move them up here so that they start right at zero seconds you can always adjust if you are not sure there we go so that is basically starting now at zero seconds i have taken the intro logo sub composition out and as you can see there's absolutely now no gap okay if i bring it here and i press spacebar to play it starts straight away so i hope this answers the question that a lot of you guys have been asking if you do still have any questions please leave it in the comment below and i'll try to answer as quickly as i can so the next step is go into scene one and start editing your composition, editing the text, editing the videos or any other content that you want in the sub composition. So let's give it a go. As you can also see, there are the shy, shy layers as well, which are hiding basically any unnecessary items. But the main thing is I want to edit the, the text here and I also want to bring a video file that will play in the background for this. Okay, so go into the media and again, go into my media folder and just choose anything that you want. For example, okay, so I think I want to start off with this image here, which is a JPEG and I press S to for the scale. So if I just do like this, I think that should be okay. Now I'm going back to my scene one sub comp and I want to change some of the other things over here. I want to leave the gaming as it is, but I want to leave the all the zeros to just like to something like just say 007 okay 
No special reason, I just wanted to change it. You can also change the red line over here or the gaming or any of these other lines. So once you're done editing in this subcomp, just give it a quick play and make sure everything is okay. So I'm gonna press the space bar and then I think this is fine. Okay, so I'm gonna then close this sub scene one, go back to the main renderer, go to scene number two and do exactly the same thing. So go to media and I wanna show, I wanna bring in something else, for example, this time, let's bring something like this, okay? Click on S for the scale and see if you can adjust it to your resolution. Go back and I also wanna change some of this text here. So just say, Okay, so I think this is looking good now. What we will do is add just plate to make sure everything is okay. Again, all of these videos and images I'm using are from Envato Elements and they are totally royalty free. So you can have a look if you want to use it for your work. Feel free to have a look at the Envato Elements website. Okay, I think this is looking good. Go back to the renderer and just make sure that everything is okay from scene one. Okay, so I think up to scene number two is everything is looking good. Go to scene number three and again, do the same thing. You can always click on this shy layers to open up the hidden layers for you if you want to make any further changes into like the, the controls or any other part of this composition. I'm gonna close it just so that I can keep things nice and tidy for, for myself. Go to media and I will download something else. Okay, for this one, I'm just gonna leave the text as it is because you got the idea of what we're trying to do. Now go back to the main render and play it again. Just quickly to make sure everything is okay and you, you haven't messed up anything. Okay, so I think project three or sorry, sub composition three is looking good. Go to scene four and click on the media and I want to bring for example this one here and again click on S to make sure that the resolution is good for your screen okay now this is good as well again we're gonna have a look at see how this is working for us very nice now as you can see there is I believe an additional layer of noise or something else in this project so I do like this video and the resolution is really nice and the graphics are really nice as well. I don't want to ruin it with the, the noise that's been added on top of it. So what I'm gonna do is to quickly go and have a look and see where that noise is. It may be noise, it may be something else. Let's have a look. If I do that and, oh yeah, there we go. So this is the noise and the sharpen. So all you need to do to close it is either you can go and edit it or reduce the noise, which you can do, or you can just simply hide it. So what will happen is that everything, all the noise from throughout the project has now been removed, which is up to you. If you want to do it this way, you can, or you can just copy and paste it or create a new noise layer for any specific sub compositions. It's totally up to you, but you got the idea. You can also go in and have a look and see if there is anything that we can pick up, or you may want to copy for the other sub compositions. Okay, so there's the noise effect. You can add it later on, or you can just simply check how much noise has been added. So it's 8%. You can go and create a new noise layer and raise it up to 8%. It's totally up to you. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to disable it. So if you play it, it will be like this.
okay this is looking good so now i'm just gonna hide the the shy layers and we go back to our main composition so change scene number five so go into media six now for the scene five composition and we will download something else this time let's do this and instead of bad mood what we can say is something positive i guess which we always want to do So this is all it. So gaming mode 24 seven. I think that is looking good. Okay. So in composition number six or scene six, what I will do is just have a look and see what we can change. Did I use this? I can't remember actually, but um, let's just use something else okay and also i want to change some of the text here we can say something like okay how is that looking like so go back from it and let's see how this is okay i think this is looking good so now close the scene six and go to scene number seven again the same process i'm just going to speed up the the video so we can see the final result Okay, so now all the compositions have been edited. Everything is looking good. Let's give it a go and play the final composition. So I think this is looking really good again the these templates are fully customizable they have given you everything that you need to edit and customize to however way you want and whatever theme that you want to use or what content you want to edit so have a look and also have a look at the other videos in my playlist which is called the Invato template playlist so that's all i hope it was useful for you if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit that like button leave a comment if you have any questions i'll try to respond as quickly as i can and we will see you in the next video thank you bye bye